Good morning, everyone. It's Donna. I had a request to talk about um, changing the start and end points on a design as well as branching. I will take care of branching in another video. I just wanted to do something very, very uh, quick on the start and stop points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just input a circle here and I'm going to get rid of the outer ring and do my generate stitches here so we'll make it a little bit larger and generate again and when we go into 3d we see that this is basically going to stitch left to right right to left and say I want to change the angle of this let's make it like 70 degrees and you will see, I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell, but this funky line that comes through here in the simulated image. Now, when it stitches out, you really can't tell that, but when it simulates it, you can. So we're going to move our stop and start point on this. So if you look, it's right here on this design. And since we've got the angle so steep we really kind of need so let's pick a point let's move it here because I know it's going to kind of stitch um, from uh, south southwest to uh, or excuse me south southeast to uh, north northwest is the way it's going to be stitching when I get done with this but we're going to look at this and we're going to generate the stitches and you will still see this line because even though I moved my start point um, for the fill well maybe I didn't hold on start point here generate the stitches you'll still see it you can see it more here than if if you were to look at it this way it's going to stitch this way and it's still going to start and end here so what I want to do to try to get rid of it is it's going to be going this way and stitching that way and you can sort of kind of tell by looking at this where the smaller it is and I can see it 3 30 4 o'clock to you know 9 30 10 so let's do this we're going to move our start stitch over here and this time we're going to move our end stitch over here it's really not going to change anything if you don't do your end point so let's generate the stitches and that funky line is gone and when you look at it normal you don't see it now okay so if we ended up um, say moving the end stitch here and the start point down here and generate you'll see it over here and when we go into 3d you can see that line right here now um, most of the time you're not going to see that but we'll go ahead and fix this one up again there and end point put my start point and that should fix it and there's going to be instances where you may not be able to get all of that line out but try to get as most of it out I mean you would hate it to be running right down through your the center of your design especially if your machine shows that stitch when it's doing it uh, I do have one particular embroidery machine that there is a certain angle um, and it's just the way the hoop moves that it does not like to stitch and it will not stitch nice no matter what I do so I try to avoid that angle at all costs anyway so that's how you um, would change your start and stop directions or point now we're going to delete this and say you've got a running 
stitch here and you generate the stitches of course when you simulate this it's going to start here and and go over um, but say you decided that you really want to change that you can edit this click a node and do your start point here because this is a single stitch a run stitch and it's a closed object the start and stop will always be the same so there's that and if you simulate it again you'll see that it's starting here now instead of down there now if you wanted to have a different endpoint on this you really couldn't because it is a closed object and you're not going over it a second time if you wanted to actually make a, a end point down here with the start point here you would have to run this down here at, uh, by yourself I mean it won't do it there's no place end point here there um, likewise if you were to have a, a straight line and you were going to want to change the end point here to be here which is actually the start point the easiest way to do it for a straight line would be um, transform to create the backward path delete the original generate the stitches and do a simulation and you will now see that it starts here and ends there so that is pretty much it for the stopping and starting of uh, designs and how you change your endpoints both for kind of like a, a line fill as a, or a line running line as well as a fill now let's look at something else real quick we are going to convert this to a fill from an outline we're going to get rid of the outline and if I generate the stitches here you can see this but and see this line coming here because that's where the the endpoint is but I'm going to make this a let's make it a motif fill and just see how it's kind of weird and stuff so let's see if we can change it put the start point here and put the end point down here generate it and while it still looks a little funky because it's not all closed in um, we can we can do that and have control even with your fill stitches uh, where it stops and starts so anyway i hope you found the answer that you were looking for as far as changing your start and stop positions um instead of having to go back through and re-digitize a piece being able to change the start and stop will help in your design so that's it for today and we will talk to you later bye